Here we are. It's set up at the Maker Fair. Boy, does this weather suck. Hey, look, it's some kind of arcade. Cool. And here we are at the 3D Village. More specifically, the 3D Printer Village. Okay, here we go. That's Mark, and he's working on my Chinese dragon. Yeah, 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 that's good. So Mark is, is working on my dragon. He just pulled the tape off. Thank you, sir. The amount of hours is insane. There's Mark, hard at work, adding those pieces in, putting those spikes on the dragon tail. But Mark's doing a bang up job. And I think people are really getting excited about seeing it because they're basically seeing the whole thing coming together. Not only is the, the body coming together, but Mark also put together the head. So you've got the head coming together as well as the bottom of the head, the bottom of the mouth. And he assembled the tongue. It's a new breed of printer. It's called a Rostock. Rostock. Oh, it's man. very cool. Thank you so much. And he can print things really tall. And what he's printing right now is maybe the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Okay, that's really weird. That's the biggest thumb wrestling I have ever seen. That's right. They're two huge, gigantic hands. And you do thumb wrestling. How crazy is that? Holy cow, this is really cool. I can't believe they did this. The Hunt for Red September. It's actually some sort of a simulator. And they actually have water and the whole thing is tilting and rocking. And you're supposed to be controlling some sort of a boat. Or submarine, I'm not sure. Okay, there's the girl. She's doing this simulator thing. She gets to try to do the different controls. And somewhere they got water spraying in. And she's got to hit all these different controls for I'm not sure of the reason. But it looks fun and interesting. Of course, you got to wear a raincoat. I'm certainly not going to do it. Oh man, that's a real bummer. It's broken. It's like a really big maze. Anyway, this is the Red Bull Game Tent. Yeah, this one's pretty standard air hockey. And we got Mr. DJ going on over here. See, now what would an arcade be without at least one game of skee-ball? And like they had in the previous years, weird bike kind of contraptions that you get to play and ride. That one's kind of a strange one. There's a foot run generator. You do the pedals and you get the lights done. This is a generator that's supposed to run a sewing machine. Check it out. A pedal powered wood chipper. Put the wood in the top and it's supposed to chip it and bring it out the bottom. Okay, this is weird. I had to get this hot dog. It's this hot dog place here. And strangely enough, and I'll have to show the front in a minute, they call this thing Criff Dogs. Definitely kind of interesting here. And actually, strangely enough, they're fried hot dogs and they wrap it with bacon. For mine, it's this Chihuahua hot dog, bacon wrapped, fried, and then it's got avocado and I think it's cream cheese. Plastic sort of outfit extensions. The one girl actually has only plastic shoes. Okay, these are wearable plastic outfits. And the outfit is rather a little bit skimpy. But there you go. My, my background is originally in Maya, which I Ooh, hate. Buckaroo Bonsai vehicle. And, Interesting. Uh, Cinema 40 has really and nice modeling tools. Special and it kind of uses a, it's supposed to be a node structure that you can um, put all the models there. So if you want to like subdivide like a, it, almost like a submarine, a uh, subdivision like node to turn it on and off. And it just, it's it just really cool. I, I like it a lot better. The, uh, and it'll handle a lot more polygons a, than 
PhD class. Hopefully they might get these robots dancing again. I believe they're kits and you actually buy them for like $1,100. They're actually going to come out with a slightly different version of the kit. That's going to be like $349. Yeah. I wonder if that's real live action. Oh, yeah. 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 You actually buy them and then they can dance. Excellent. They're dancing now. And so is David's head in the way. And I, it's hard to hear, but they have their own set of music playing behind. That is pretty wild. Is that pretty wild or what you get? Too much action. Okay, that's weird. I don't know. There's these people dressed up in some really weird outfits. It's a Minotaur. It's a Minotaur. There's been a guy who's a stormtrooper. There's a gorilla with a cage in front of the gorilla with a guy in the cage. Hopefully I'll find that we can see it. And there's the stormtrooper. And there's the thumb wrestling. I bet your knees really hurt by being stretched up like that for so long. Go get me a beer and you'll feel better. <laughs> Dude, I need a beer too. I gotta edit it. I don't know, this is cool. I actually, a guy showed me a video where they're hanging from a ceiling and they actually have a special battery pack in them. And that's where they're getting the power from. Ah, there's the battery pack. And that allows it to uh, walk around and hold on to it and continue to print. That's the battery pack way down in here. Biggest bot type printer I've ever seen. It's pretty cool. Three feet by three feet by three feet, I believe. Yeah, that platform moves down. But it's got to move like 20 times faster, and then you can make something really big really quickly. How long does it take to print? Oh, no, I know that. It takes a while. That's how a lot of people think. And if you say, yeah, I have two pieces of wood and I want to glue them like this together, everybody knows it's not going to happen. This is a giant Arduino, and it actually was originally designed as a teaching mechanism because that big thing replicates a 10 size what that actually does. And theoretically, you can change the wiring of these like tubes and stuff, and it's the same thing as if you did it on the little guy. And things are supposed to light up. And Arduino is a little motherboard that does things. <laughs> Look at all these old Macs. This is the first, the first Mac with a uh, liquid crystal display and the first right? Mac with a CD-ROM. I have one of these in the garage. Somebody unloaded it on a friend of ours. They unloaded it on me. It's sitting at home. I wonder if this is worth anything. You think? No. That's an old Mac. That's what they all are. Macintosh color computer. I've worked on that. Never touched the portable. I worked on this, the original Mac. This was one of the original. Shush. That's the Apple IIc, of which I have at home. That's the Apple IIe, which I first worked on in high school. And I had it with discs, but it did not have the cassette tapes. I've worked on it with a cassette. And this is the Lisa, the failed Mac computer that nobody liked. Actually, not a Mac, it's the, the Apple. Is that right? Are you sure? Very cool looking sculpture bug with glowing eyes. And this bug is doing some sort of moving. It's got batteries, it's got lights. I saw some movement of it before. But there's a whole bunch of these suckers over here. Oh, it's kind of interesting.
interesting. I've done this more interesting at night. It's got something in it that spins around and it makes each of them jiggle. Obviously, the little kids like it. Oh, they've got some fun underwater robot kinds of things. So it's got little motors on it and they spin them around. People get to sort of play with them and control them. You do this a few times, it's going to untangle so we'll go further, okay? That is definitely cool. Sorry? Yeah. Get all the air out of it. Get all the air out of it. Get all the air out of it, right? There you go. This one's about ready to totally get going. It seems that what they have to do is somehow let the air out and then it sinks down. And when it sinks down, they can actually use it. There's a scary dude. Cool. Don't shoot, dude! Oh my Don't god, shoot. I had no idea they have a beer garden. This is a beer garden here. So they sell the beer. You have to get an ID at the front, security guy. Uh, all this time I had no idea. And check it out, they got this cool freaky music going on. With like really weird instruments, all different kinds of strange instruments. Some look like they're tweaked, like a trumpet. I don't know if it's a modified or a regular trumpet. It's like the band is all wrapping up. But they had some interesting, freaky stuff. And the guy actually made his own, something she called it a work board. I think it's something on an iPad that controls the playing and creation. You get to see this. I love New York. It's a booth all about Lego stuff. Oh, cool stuff. Gotta love this stuff. this color Yeah. According to the sign, it's a park inside a trailer. I wonder if these are all live plants. I guess they are. Little pool of water. Oh my god, with fish and everything. Did you see the fish? There's a piranha. Let's the light in, and naturally, wow, uh, that is cool. Brick, stones, pebbles. Oh. As I retreat, this is the vehicle on the outside. How cool is that? That really is pretty cool. And guess what? That's Cody, my assistant for the day. Don't be angry, Cody. Just had you had to be here for five hours, bored out of your mind, talking to everybody who asked stupid questions. Why would I be angry? Oh, it was so much fun. There's my coasters. There's my paper hot towel holder, and a woman harassed Cody because she said it didn't work right, and Cody didn't realize one of the pieces was the wrong piece, and it was a busted piece. Oh well. There's my dragon. There's my bot. Dysfunctional because I didn't have it running today. Oh yeah, I had it running yesterday, printing almost all day long. All the yellow pieces were yesterday printed. So today I made a whole bunch of signs that told everybody what everything was so I could walk away and not have to tell everybody. But guess what? It took hours to write them because people kept talking to me. Later.